Welcome to beautiful Antarctica as part of the 1023 International Homeopathic Over- Overdose Challenge. I've chosen a sleep and insomnia preparation uh, because I couldn't find homeopathic Viagra or a homeopathic laxative. They would have given, shall we say, solid results. Anyway, I have on hand here uh, the ship's doctor, this is Giles, and he has the defibrillator just in case something goes wrong. But in the spirit of the occasion, we won't plug it in. So it'll be a homeopathic defibrillator working on the principles of the memory of once having had an electrical discharge. Anyway, here goes. It does say one spray under the tongue before half an hour before going to bed and another spray under the tongue on going to bed. So we'll just see how much of this bottle I can get through before I fall asleep. Would you like to try some? The only active ingredient, which is listed as a non-active ingredient, is alcohol. You can taste the alcohol in this. (sighs) Almost there! Not feeling very sleepy. That's it. So we should come back in a couple of hours, Giles, and see if I'm still awake. If that's one spray before going to bed and one spray on going to bed gives you a good night's sleep, I should have enough in me now to knock me out for, what, a week? Oh, at least. Yeah. At least. Oh, well. I could do with a good kit. Well, it's been three hours since I've uh, overdosed on the homeopathic remedy. Uh, So far, no effects whatsoever, not feeling sleepy. Uh, But we thought we'd film this particular result section in the ship's hospital, because it's warmer in here. And we just thought we'd take my blood pressure as a pure dramatic device to add a little bit of spice. Am I okay, Doc? Boringly bloody normal. Uh, Boringly bloody normal. And by the way, that bottle of water with a little bit of ethanol in it, cost 30 bucks. Someone is making a big profit out of woo-woo.